hurt so badly. It felt like the man just punched me over and over again. I wouldn't stop. By somebody putting words online that you know and I know aren't true. Now think about it. Was it you doing that to somebody else? It probably was you because more than half of you have. Because the two, three percent of you guys have cyberbullied somebody before. And there's probably a little chance of you not getting in trouble for it. Because 15 percent don't tell somebody else. Because one word can lead to another. person's whole world upside down. Um, and anything else, some people will say that if you use a code name or a Wee Lot or Face, it doesn't matter, but anything else, because that person knows who you're talking about. And um, one time, my friend uh, told me about how she was texting this person out, N-O-Y and I-B-L-Y, and she said it means nobody likes you and I don't like you, and she did it over and over again, and I felt really bad, because that person still doesn't know what it means to just keep lying to her. And why do we do it? Some people do it for revenge or because they're mad at something that somebody else did. And some people even do it because they think when they're bored, it's fun to make other people feel bad about themselves. And um, some people that are like popular, they're like mean girls, um, do it because they think that they're better than everybody else. And I said girls because um, girls are most likely to cyberbully than boys are. And then some people do it on accident because some people don't realize what they're do doing when they're doing it. And also some people must like text their friend and they're just joking around and teasing their friend. And what can you do? You can report it. Um, if you see somebody else being cyberbullied, you can delete it because if somebody does something to you, there's no point of you looking at it. It will just ruin your day. You can also tell somebody and you can be the change to their life by the way. And oh, nobody should kill themselves because there's two out of ten um, teenagers considered killing themselves after being cyberbullied, and that you wouldn't want to kill yourself so why should they need to? And if you feel like nobody should feel like somebody's coming down and screaming and just punching them over and over, and you need to stand up and do something because everybody says stop bullying, and I think there's three types of words, which is physically, verbally, and cyber, and if you take away cyber, the whole world.